12-year-old Julie Kobayashi of Honolulu loves being active. Less than a year ago, she was scheduled to go on a field trip to this ice rink, but because of what seemed like the flu that she couldn't shake, instead of that field trip, her parents took Julie to the doctor. Basically, the cardiologist said uh, she had heart failure, and that was a total shock to all of us. Julie had myocarditis, severe inflammation of the heart muscle wall. When it didn't get better, her doctors in Hawaii suggested she may need a heart transplant. We were then given three choices to um, select from the hospital facilities to go, and her cardiologist recommended Seattle's children, and we went with that because he thought that was the best care that she would receive. Julie's heart was rapidly failing, and soon after arriving at Seattle Children's, she was put on the heart transplant waiting list. But her own heart was so weak, it needed help just keeping her alive while she waited and keeping the rest of her body healthy enough for a transplant. Because she was getting worse and her other um, organs were being affected and before it would be affected and she'd be removed from the transplant list, the doctors suggested that you know, we put in the device. This is the device that Julie had. Surgeons implanted the HeartMate 2 ventricular assist device. It did the work that Julie's heart couldn't. I was the third patient to receive that in Seattle Children's. It's the newest model and um, the LVAD is like meant to like keep less strain on your heart. Doctors at Seattle Children's have a variety of ventricular assist devices or VADs from which to choose depending on a child's specific needs, age and size. Providers at Seattle Children's have experience with and expertise in many options. It was really um, significant the difference between before and after the LVAD, you know, um, uh, device was put into her. So it was once it started working as it was in, intended to, you know, I mean, her her condition really improved to the point where she became an outpatient. Julie's VAD worked so well, she was able to check out of the hospital and stay with her family at the nearby Ronald McDonald House. As she wished for a new heart, another lifelong wish of Julie's came true. Snow, yeah, snow. I got to see snow. She had her portable batteries and she independently went off around the area and just, right. you know, rolled snowballs and, you know, did whatever in the snow, whatever she wanted yeah. to do, like a normal Yeah, child. like her old self again, yeah. you know. Maybe. Less than a week after her release from the hospital and her first snowman, a heart came for Julie. Thanks to the VAD, she was strong enough for a transplant. If we didn't have VADs, I, I don't think Julie would be with us today. The VAD really allowed Julie to, to get through the, the illness to get out of the hospital and to recover strength and to make her a better candidate. And frankly, the VAD is what kept her alive and allowed her to survive a transplant. Okay, ready? Julie is doing well. Cardiac rehab back in Hawaii is helping her and her new heart get used to each other. She still wears a mask when in public to protect herself from colds and viruses as she gets even better Good. and stronger. The transition from her home in Hawaii to Seattle Children's and back home again was smooth. Transfer of patient care was really good. Yeah, they were very thorough, seamless. yeah, very seamless. And uh, yeah, there was really nothing you had to reiterate to the doctors down here. You know, they knew everything that was going on there step by step, what she's been through and what to expect when we, she comes home, came home too. So. Yeah. Julie is back to doing the things she loves. We're doing good. We're doing yeah, good. We're Julie's back to normal, being her uh, teenage self. Yeah, preteen self. Preteen uh, self. Yeah. <laughs> all in all, I, I feel great. I feel like I can do anything I want to do. But now I'm like, hey, I'm back to being one of those normal people that you see bustling around, ordering Starbucks like a like a teenager, or oh, hey, let's go watch the movie. Let's go to the movie theaters or something. So I feel. I feel at home, yeah. She is back home. Julie's parents are so thankful that when their daughter needed the best in cardiac care, they chose the team at Seattle Children's. We got our little girl back and you know, that's the most important thing. You know, right. that's, uh, 
And I think Seattle will always be a big part of our lives oh, yeah. because um, they did so much for us in saving yeah. Julie's life. And um, we're very grateful and we'll never forget the experience that we've gotten from them. If your child is sick or something, you should really consider like Seattle Children's. They're like the best hospital ever. No, no regrets, no doubt. We are so fortunate that we did go to Seattle Children mm -hmm. and we will never forget how much they did for us and our family.